Hello and welcome back to Escape to the Zoo. It's good to be back after having missed the first weekly episode in over six months, largely due to the fact that this has just been a pretty busy time as my wife and I just bought a house and I've been working on that and we're about to have our fourth child. And now today's episode is later than the normal 5.30 Tuesday upload due to the fact that last night when I would have been finalizing some things was the national championship game for college football, which if you're privy to the fact that most of my uploads are relative to the Columbus Zoo, you might be able to figure out who I was cheering for. <sighs> mm, that was tough. But anyway, I didn't want you to think that just because the start of 2021 or because we're right in the middle of dead of winter that all of a sudden I'm just going to stop uploading videos, which would be a perfectly reasonable assumption as it is harder to get some zoo videos and things of the like when I live in Ohio as we do get some rather chilly winters. But I plan to take advantage of some of that relative to some videos and I do have a backlog of videos that I have from other things that I'll be able to dip back into. And although it may get a little tight, <laughs> and now my light just went out, but I don't even care. I'm just gonna keep on filming. The reality is it could get a little tight here in some of these winter months, but I do have a backlog of videos, so I'm gonna hope to access those, and those should be great. Got some interesting things there. And you may have noticed that I have uploaded just some really short videos on certain weeks. That's not just for sake of desperation trying to utilize videos, but really I'm just hoping that perhaps some short clips like that could draw some interest from others who would not otherwise watch a long video, but maybe in watching a short video, they'd then double back and watch some other stuff from the channel, but we'll just see how that goes. But hey, when I put those up, it would definitely be awesome if you go ahead and watch those, like them, and even leave a comment as that'll help push it out to some other people and maybe draw some other folks in. And since this video is largely going to serve the purpose of a channel update, let me just go ahead and ask you, what is your favorite video so far? Mention it in the comments of this video. I mean, you could double back to that video and even just say like, hey man, this is my favorite video here. And perhaps even why it's your favorite video. Is it the style of it? Or are you watching for information purposes? Are you watching it just to kind of relax and just chill, to kind of unwind at the end of the day? What's going on in your mind when you watch some of them? I know some of them are slightly different, but if there are some different nuances that you find, then I'd love to highlight some of those things or some things that you'd like to see more of. Let, let me know. It'd be cool to get a little more feedback and to keep some of those things in mind moving forward. But as you may have picked up from the fact that I'm not even taking the time to fix the light that stopped working in the middle of the video, I just wanted to put something together real quick and put a word out there to let you know that there is still stuff coming in the weeks ahead. But don't worry, I'm not gonna leave you without any zoo stuff in this video at all. In fact, I'm gonna take this opportunity to plug in a couple videos that I'm not really sure where else I could put them in the midst of other videos because they kind of stand alone things. The first video is where my wife and I were at the zoo later in the evening and if you're there later sometimes, especially at the Columbus Zoo near the Animal Encounters Village, some of the animals they have to put away. They have to get them out of their place. So if you're hanging around there you may see them putting them away and you may, able to, may be able to get a little bit closer than you normally would. And the other video is of basically a sea lion keeper talk which we haven't seen a whole lot of things like that this summer in terms of keeper talk because of some of the limitations with COVID regulations and whatnot. So it was cool to see one of the keepers doing a bit of a talk with a bunch of, I don't know, four, five, six-year-old kids that were in front of him as he's showing them some of the different fish that they eat and how those fish serve different pur purposes. But I'll just let him explain it. I think the audio is good enough that you can pick up some of the things he said. I thought it was pretty cool. So anyway, if the channel update was not particularly inspiring enough, and if you're actually still watching to this point, even though it wasn't inspiring to you, then hopefully you'll find these videos at least somewhat interesting. And you can tune in next week to catch a different video on Escape to the Zoo. Yeah. It's kind of hard otherwise. <laughs> they got like elephant skin. See? Oh, he's glaring at you. He just, no! You want to look at him? You guys want to look at him real quick? I'm going to take him in. He's about to go eat. You want to feel his shell real quick? He's a shell. Right up here. Good job. His name's Ray. Isn't he cool? Look at that, that is there cool. Look at that. He's about 30 years old. He's a radiated tortoise. Fish! This is the type that we give to our sea lion. This is their favorite one. This is their big part of their meal. Another type of fish, it's a little smaller. This is like their french fries, or their mashed potatoes, or their vegetables. It's the side part, or their carrots, except for they eat fish, of course. So they have that, and then we have this little tiny fish, and this is more like their water. So sea lions, they live in the ocean, and the ocean is salt water. And salt water you can't drink. It's not good for you or for a seal to drink. He's right there. Oh, you got it. So sea lions, they can't actually drink the water that they live in, so they get all the water. They're trying to tell you where you are. 
<laughs> and then anytime that I 